Um, so yeah, as is tradition, I'll give a bit of an update on the water resources position for this area. Um, unfortunately, I've only got the update up until the end of January. I think the February one is coming over the next couple of days. But I think we are aware there's been very little rainfall during February, so that will have a bearing on our recovery of groundwater over the, the next few months. But over, you know, obviously we've had some quite exceptional um, climatic periods um, in the area. And I mean, groundwater levels up until October, when we obviously had some of the driest um, period that we've had in this region, um, the groundwater levels up until about the October point were, were consistent with drought years that we'd observed in 1996, 2011, 2018. So the situation wasn't looking great and groundwater in this area is totally dependent on winter rainfall to recharge, replenish the aquifers and obviously um, the uh, chalk streams as well. Um, over October, November, December, we saw 121% um, of the long-term average rainfall, um, including a particularly wet November, and uh, that was, uh, you know, really good in terms of recovery, um, it's saturating soils, and, and we actually saw a steeper recovery rate that compared to those previous drought years that we'd seen. Um, so we were actually around about the long-term average as we got to January. Um, January saw rainfall of about 79% so that recovery is starting to level off and although we don't have the actual figures for February yet I think we're looking around 14% of rainfall compared to long term average so that as we go into the spring and summer period that's going to put us into a position where if we have a particularly hot dry summer and potentially another dry winter next year that will have a significant impact on groundwater levels so we are in a you know precarious situation Situation. It's better than it could have been, but as always, you know, we encourage people to use water wisely. Think about that if you can, you know, particularly in your garden, if you can get things like water butts, other measures, other ways of reducing that water <coughs> consumption. We've got lots of information on our website as well that, that you can tap into and uh, devices that we can provide as well. So we encourage you to, uh, to look into that. But uh, that's enough from me now. I will hand over, but I hope you have an excellent conference. And uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to come and find me in the break. Thank you.